guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the first installment of Squish Tours. So, a couple of weeks ago, I announced that I was going to be doing monthly tours of various tiny houses you guys could submit. The very first one didn't have any specific rules or themes or anything. I just wanted to get started with it and see what creative juices were flowing with you guys. So, I asked you to submit things to the gallery using the hashtag Squish Tours August. I have that pulled up. I also have it including custom content in case your stuff is incorrectly flagged. And we're going to scroll through these. There are a lot of them. And I'm going to pick a few to actually tour. So I'm excited to show off uh, probably like four or five of them. So apologies, I'm definitely not going to get to all of them because I am kind of blown away by how many submissions there are. But a lot of them look so cool. And of course, you're free to submit them again for a future tour. And I haven't decided yet if there's going to be a theme. I will let you know at the end of the video, though, uh, because there will be another tour in September. So let's go through some of these. The first one I want to look at is the Off the Grid Gypsy Squish by Bon Love Dawn. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Boaz Palma packed up everything he owned and moved from Selva Dorada to Newcrest. Everything on this lot is handmade and built by him. If he can handle jungle life surely he can live and sell his wares in the big city especially with his dad dad his dog in a place that reminds them so much of home hashtag squish tours so many different things okay we're gonna actually place this down i need to check this out just from this thumbnail it looks amazing so let's see oh my goodness there is so much detail oh my goodness let's take a look at this garden oh my gosh all the seed packets i love the use of all these planters and there's just so many plants, which I love. Okay, okay, what is what is this? I like it. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but I think it's cute. And it looks like we have some dog training areas, a bunch of planters. Oh my gosh, these little candles. That is so cute. I don't think I've ever used those candles before. Are those from the holiday pack? They are. I never used those. And this is nice. We have a random, like, futuristic trash can out here. That's kind of odd, uh, but a cool item to have nonetheless. Oh, this is so cute and cozy. I like it so much. Archaeology table, all of the greenery everywhere, the beekeeping box. It looks like we have two entrances to the main floor. And then up here, we have some woodworking and some flower arranging, some really cute items placed on stuff. You can do some painting. It's all lanterns. You got the wash bucket because this has the off the grid trait as well as great acoustics and natural light. So I think it's time to pop inside this squish and take an actual tour of it. I'm excited. All right, so when we walk in, ooh, okay. You have the fireplace immediately with tons of candles. This really pretty arrangement of paintings on the wall and like artwork. Aw, this cute little setup for uh, like where you could eat. I love having the tablet there, some more artwork, some fresh herbs. Ooh, the grill inside is a really good idea for an off-the-grid home. I wouldn't have thought of that. I love that. And then this sink, of course, goes so well. Nice cluttered bookcase. Oh, this is so cute. And I love the little bedroom area separated by the curtains. Oh, okay. And then how do you, how do you get in the bathroom? Oh, that's what the separate door is for. That makes sense. Okay. We are using the Strangerville tub, which is awesome. I love all the candles. This is so cool. I think the off the grid treat is so cool and makes us be more creative with our builds. So many candles, so many plants. This is a really cool squish. I like this a lot. Now we're going to take a look at the Green Getaway Cabin by Rose Angle 95. Do so you need a getaway? Need a break from your daily routine? The co then come stay at the Green Getaway Cabin in Granite Falls. Bring the kids and your furry friends or have a romantic getaway with your significant other. This tiny cabin sleeps a toddler, single sim, and a couple. There's also a tent in the backyard for adventure, sl adventure sleeping. This cabin has a lot of fun activities to keep your sims happy, relax, and fun. Enjoy your stay. Hashtag Squish Tours August. So we're going to place this down and take a look at it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so pretty. You guys are so talented. Okay, let's check out back. I love the boat. Definitely using some debug and show alive edit objects with this. So cool. I love the tent. The, the landscaping here is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's explore a little bit. I love all of these plants. A little barbecue area. This is super cute. And of course, you got the guitar to play some music out here. 
I don't think I ever use that side table. That's really cute. Got some nice balconies up here. We should probably go check out inside first though. And I love this big tree out front. And of course this little statue and the colors here are so cute. I love green and brown together. They look, is there something up there? something up no it's just an empty room i was like is there a secret up there um but no all right let's turn off the grid and take a peek first we have some cute plants on the front porch and then inside oh look at the little tv area got some supplies and stuff some various fish i think a crawdad oh look at the little kitchen i love the green appliances and all the clutter on the counters especially the hot chocolate that's so nice in this environment got some dog toys oh, let's go upstairs oh it's like a loft i like that oh oh this is really cool i like that it's not really separate rooms there's just items separating the area so you have your single bedroom your double bedroom and then where was the toddler where is the toddler bed it said that this could sleep a toddler too, but I'm not really sure where that is. Uh, but this is a really cute bathroom. I really love the colors in here. It's really pretty. There's a toddler potty. Where is the toddler bed? I found it! This is the toddler bedroom. <laughs> I completely skipped it when we were downstairs. I found it though. Oh, this is super cute. I love the blue colors. I also really like how the windows are going up around this room. That is so cute. I think that's fun with the curtains inside as well. This is a really cute house. Like your landscaping is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this. I love it. I have no words. Just from this thumbnail, I have no words. Captain Crow's Nest by Sir Redden. Uh, built on the Strangerville cliffside crest, this tiny house is built on the wreckage of an old ship with its own water feature, including diving board fire pit, barbecue, and multiple places to lounge. This tiny is perfect for a single sim who loves adventure and throwing parties. There's also all the sim needs to have a pet cat. Squish Taurus August. I am so excited to look at this one. Just like the talent just in that thumbnail. I don't know if this is too big for this lot. I just realized I did not read what that said. I just said, okay, but it looks like we're going to fit it in here. And oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, look at this detail. I love the use of these ship items. I think these are from the sets from Get Famous. Oh, there's stuff under there. Ooh, is that like a downstairs bathroom? Oh, that is so cool. Is that all functional? Can you get down there? Oh my goodness, I am so impressed. Okay, look at this nice eating area. We got like our deck up there, got some plants hanging around. This is so cool. I don't think this part's functional, but the staircase should be. So then upstairs, this looks like it's the livable space. So we have our cute little kitchen in here. It's very cozy. Got a bedroom over there, bathroom over here. It looks like we have laundry on the lot as well. Wow, I feel like I can just keep looking around and finding so many more details, but like, this is so impressive. This is amazing. Next up is a tiny container loft by J Rice 520, a tiny converted shipping container loft home. I'm super happy with how this came out and I just want to live here for real. Cozy, urban, chic home with lots of clutter and artsy decor. Enjoy. This one really caught my eye for the flat roof, this garage and all of the greenery. I think it is so cool. I love this on top too and some of the graffiti and this beautiful plant this just looks super cute looks like it has some very colorful elements as well which is quite interesting i like these chairs definitely not a color combo i would have thought of but i love the gray and the red on the outside i think this is such a cute home and i very rarely do flat roofs like this this looks so good i love the car too <laughs> i'm still not over getting cars so let's hop on inside so you enter on the top floor into this little kitchen area this is so cute i love these lights wow and you're blocking off the windows with these that's really cute a couple of clutter objects up here we have planters on the inside which is really cute looks like we got some mail some coffee oh this is so cute i love that we have a little stereo in here looks like we got some custom artwork that is not cc but is not like in-game content oh my goodness some more of that which is pretty cool i like the typography one and then we, i think this is from the new cheat some of the signs that you can get with um, 
that are like more street signs with the show live edit objects. Go downstairs into like a little lounge room. I've actually never used these cabinets as a table before. I use cabinets all the time, but never these ones. Those look really nice. And I love the hanging plant, these candles, this table. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I feel like you guys decorate stuff so nicely in like ways I would have never thought to do. I love all this little clutter here, especially the, hold on. There's, there's a dish under the, th that's a great detail. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so realistic though. I think it's so funny that the Sims do that. They just like leave stuff under the computer somehow. Uh, but this is really cute too. Some space under the stairs. We got their nice little bedroom over here. Oh, I love the artwork leaning against the dresser. That's really cute. Oh, very simple little bedroom with lots of personality for sure. And then the bathroom as well, which is really nice as well. Well, I really like this. It's super colorful. It's like more colorful than I would have thought, but it's like not too over the top. I think it works out really, really well. And I love the roof on this house. Love this squish. The last build we're gonna look at for today is Oak Alcove by HHHH3334. Uh, so we're gonna place this down. It looks like it's just base game, which is really exciting. So that means if you guys like this one and you wanna grab it, no matter which packs you have, you should be able to grab this house. I'm excited to take a look at it. I love pack restricted builds. Ooh. Oh, they layered some windows in the front. It's a little glitchy, but I really do like how that looks. And I love this rounded piece over here. Oh, wow, they're stacking those up. That is so creative. You guys are giving me some ideas. Like, I love this idea. That looks so cool. This does not look like a base game house. I feel like I put it on too small of a lot because I did something weird over here. But this looks so cool. Oh my goodness, I am so impressed. And then these are the, just stacking up some of these windows, I believe, yeah. Which you can't have them see through in the whole space, but it looks really cool. And also whichever ones you place down most recently, that's the one that's going to be see-through. So I think that's cool because you can make a fun pattern on which ones you can actually see through. Yes, that is awesome. I love the planters out here, all the different greenery. Oh, I'm just so impressed just by the outside. And of course we got a car, but let's, let's hop inside. Also, how did they do this roof? These are shelves. That is so cool. This is so creative. Okay, okay. We need to actually, oh, well, we should probably check out back here first. Got a nice barbecue and a nice seating space, but then where is the front door? Is this the only door to the place or is there another door? I think the back door is the only door to the place. So we walk in and we are in this little kitchen area. I think it's really cute and simple. We have a couple more of these custom paintings, which I really, really like. And then these shelves, it's like cluttered, but tastefully. It's very clean and organized. Ooh, it's split level. I love that. And to this little lounge room, very simple and clean. I love the combinations of items in here. It is so pretty. It does not look base game at all. And I am so impressed. Wow, okay. And then if you go this way, we have a little bathroom. Also has some more custom artwork. Very, very cute. And then this bedroom as well, which I love. Oh my goodness. The words. <laughs> I'm just very impressed. I love the use of these cabinets around the bed. This is beautiful. This is so pretty. Wow. Those are all the homes I have time to go through today. Thank you guys, everyone that has submitted. There are so many cool builds here. I just, I can't view them all. It would take forever to tour all of these, but no worries if yours did not get featured. Please feel free to submit another build for next month for September. Uh, let's pick a deadline here. I would like to see some more builds. Sometime next month, I will do another one of these. If you could submit them by September 14th, at just sometime on September 14th, I'll probably look at them on the 15th. And for September, if you could do your squishes as only base game, because I mean, that last one, I was so impressed and you can do so much with base game. And so I'd like to see what you guys can come up with. So submit your base game squishes by September 14th. And hopefully I can tour another five of them then. These were so cool. I am beyond impressed with you guys. And I just can't wait to see more of them. To submit your build for next month, make sure to upload it to the gallery with the hashtag squish tours September. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.